the economists are not wrong, but what is happening is that the farmers in certain states are used to selling their crop to the government at a price fixed by the government. So they are assured of, an in, of, of a certain income and uh, a stable income, even though it is not very high. What may now happen, the farmers fear, is that they will be exposed to the market forces and the prices may fall down by 30 to 40 percent. And they quote the example of other crops which are not by, bought by the government. So they fear that their incomes will go down. That is why this commotion and agitation in certain states. Right. And so you believe uh, that the government should have gone ahead with these uh, laws only after proper consultation with the farm bodies, uh, with the trade unions here. Uh, do you think the current negotiations uh, can find a breakthrough or is it too late? No, I think uh, sooner or later a breakthrough will be found out. However, as you said, uh, it would have perhaps been better if the bills were debated more thoroughly in Parliament and also if the bills were referred to the Select Committee of Parliament where more discussions can take place with various stakeholders, including farmers unions, the state governments, economists, researchers, and other organizations, agro-processors, exporters. So that consultation did not happen. That is why we see a lot of protest and a lot of uh, criticism of certain provisions of the bills, even though many of these um, reforms are needed. Right. I want to uh, touch upon all the contentious uh, issues as part of these negotiations and these farm bills, sir. The first one being the quality of the produce. And the farmers are saying that the owners lying on them squarely for the quality of the output is unfair. Uh, what can be done in regards to finding a middle ground here uh, to protect the interests of the farmers? In this particular case, the reference is to contract farming, where there is going to be a contract between the, between the agro-processor or the exporter or a big company uh, and the farmers. So the farmers say that the terms of the contract are going to be such that they will not be paid the contracted price unless the quality specifications meet the norms specified in the contract. So obviously, uh, the farmers will have to clean up their product, bring it to better quality. It is already happening in many cases. For example, the export of basmati in India. The farmers uh, and the rice mills do meet the quality specifications of the importing countries. So it is not so very difficult and I do not think that is the crux of the issue here in these agitations.